So, hi and welcome to another session about budgeting. Um, today I'm going to try actually quite a simpler way um, of doing or using the budget plans um, to bring it into the general basic budgeting, so into the budget entries. Uh, so in my last session I did the little bit more complex way, so where the finance department um, actually created it, distributed it to the different departments or cost centers, they um, approved it and then finance um, did the aggregated, also approved the aggregated budget and so on, everything over the workflow. So th this was the last section. Now I'm going to use quite a simpler one. So in the end, just a one-man show. So just one person, one finance person is doing um, the budget and approves it and puts it then to the um, budget register entries. It's actually, at least in Switzerland, it is quite common that there is just one guy doing the budget in the end because there are quite a lot of smaller companies available in Switzerland, of course. Um, yep. Also a thing is in here. So in this, uh, with this here, when I did this, the thing was that I was, that you always had to go actually over the organization cost center. If you wanted to do the budget on, on a cost center level, you always had to go over the cost center. It was not possible to just use uh, here a normal financial dimension and exactly in the case which I'm doing now, um, I'm going to try this. So um, the case is that finance creates the initial budget based on last year's actual and last year's budget. And well, as soon as it is fine, Finance approves it and puts it to the budget channel to the budget entries in the end. Good. Um, I will move on with my already created mandate. Not that I'm going to add a totally new one, but I'm going to do the settings once again, of course. So um, first of all, let's have a look at the chart of accounts. So we have two revenue accounts, one for cars, one for wheels, and two cost accounts and one balance sheet account. And I need to add then also the account structure. So in the end, those three account structures are in, but in the contribution margin accounts from 3000 till end of 4000, I need to have at least a new financial dimension. Let's say, um, yeah, let's say PUR, so purpose. And I'm just going to say, um, car to Yota and a zero two it is so this should be enough for the purpose I'm going to add purpose and well maybe let's also add a second one just to distinguish between intercompany and third party. Good, so move it to the right and yes, and I'm going to activate it, great. Okay, so um, on, the on the cost side, we just have a normal um, cost center at the moment. I also need to change this because I don't want to go this time over the um, cost center of the hierarchy, but I want to use just a normal, in the end, just a normal um, cost center. No, I'm, I leave, uh, I'm going to leave it. I just, I'm just doing the budget in here. I'm just going to do a sales budget in the end. Yeah, yeah. So this should be enough. Good. Um, I just quickly make some postings from last year that I have the last year's actual actually. So. Um, just here on the car's revenue, let's say in the company. Yep, I quickly create just some lines in here. Great, so just some postings on all such um, revenue accounts and with date of last year. Good, I'm um, posted. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Makes sense. So, of course, I need to have it in the amount field. Great. Okay. Good. 
So let's have a look at the well not yet on the budgeting still always if you're going to use a but the budget planning functionalities uh, you always have to have um, an organization hierarchy it is um, from my point of view it is mandatory so this means even if you have just such a case no not this one this case here where just one person is doing it and nevertheless you still need to have you still need to have it so um you do need to have a budget one so you can use of course the one that i've created in the last in the last session so in the longer session but you can of course create just budget or sales but budget hierarchy, hierarchy <coughs> glsi um, assign the purpose the purpose needs to be security and it needs to be budget planning um, uh, okay add sales budget yeah of course good okay close it f5 and then you have it in that's perfect and you need to click on view now um you need to click you're going to the edit mode and you really have to add at least one department so this means nothing else than either you're choosing you're choosing one of those in here or you can create a new department in the end so on the oper operation units you can click on new and then say department and then my department or sales budget department good uh, <clears throat> important add here the manager so in this case it's myself and the department itself also needs to have a position and the person who is doing later on the budget needs to be within this position so i say here position i create a new one maybe you have a position budget manager yep okay create the position and important is the worker assignment that in here the person who is doing the budget later on is also assigned to this place good so it's me so then it's fine so um yeah so you have the worker which needs to be created so first of all i've created here um, a worker this worker needs to be within the correct company of course so you need to be in G it needs to be in gls as employed in glsi uh, you also need to ensure first of all that in this on the system administration that the user so in my case admin that this one is to the correct person so related to the correct person and furthermore um, under tools and options you need to ensure that the person or so the, the system user has a start company glsi so the company in which you are in which you are working in the end good so we created the department so let's quickly close these things here back and let's go back to the organization administration and to the organization hierarchy and in here we click on view we click on edit and now we are going to add our newly created department in here good um this is all already already fine because i'm not going over the, the um, system cost centers i want to do a sales budget just on purpose level therefore um this is already fine because it is just one person good um you need to publish it so i say effective date let's say first of may publish and good and now it is activated great so we did the things already with the um, organization hierarchies let's move on with the budgeting module um, so budgeting parameters they are actually in, for these things that we are going to use not that important so we can just skip it the workflows will be important and um, you need to ensure in the basic budgeting budget that I mentioned for budgeting that you are having all the dimensions on which you are 
going to make a budget um, available. So in the end, uh, I already did the, the cost budget. I'm going to add now um, a sales budget. And of course, because sales is just on purpose, but maybe not on um, ICTP, you can just use here the purpose. So it depends what kind of dimension you want to you want to do the budget on. So I just choose here the purpose. Good. And the budget models, I'm just going to create here a new one, sales, sales budget, already fine. Budget codes, um, I already have the original budget created. So quite simple. I can also say here, I'm going to create beside the original budget, a revised budget. And I can here put then revision and go. Then I have basically two different budget codes. Um, actually, all the other things, since we are not going to use that many things from basic budgeting, but more from budget planning, um, it is in the end more in the budget planning where we do the configurations. The only thing that we are doing in the end is just transfer the budget planning into the basic budgeting in the end. So just into the all budget line entries. Uh, you also need to have a budget cycle, but the budget cycle is quite simple. So yeah, add one and say um, how long should be the budgeting period. In my case, it is one year. Good. So now we can move on with the budget planning configuration. <clears throat> As you saw, if you watched my uh, the last three videos, it is quite complex and quite big one, <laughs> really by quite a big um, module. And I am actually now going to try to make it a little bit simpler at least. Um, there will be some setting preset. There will be settings already available um, because, well, because I did it before, but I'm going to create totally new scenarios, stages and so on. <clears throat> so um, parameters generally spoken fine. Okay, let's go to the stages. So uh, the stages itself is a uh, scenario, sorry, the scenarios. The scenarios is nothing else than different kind of things, <laughs> different kind of numbers. So for example, you have um, here the main account. So main account, um, you have here the, the purpose. So AO1. <clears throat> Um, 3, 100, AO2, and so on. And the different scenarios are actually in here. Scenarios. So this means nothing else. You can say last year's actual. It's just a scenario which you're going to use for your new budget. So we just want to have it as an information. Good. Um, and then you can say, well, last year's, year's budget. And then maybe... Um, recommendation this year and then approved and final for example uh, the recommendation we really keep it we really keep it simple uh, to approve and then final so this means nothing else than <clears throat> You can have then different kind of uh, scenarios showing different kind of numbers. For example, the revenue for uh, th for this main account with this purpose was last year 100. Uh, last year's years last year's budget was 85. Um, this year, so this year, let's say this this year to approve or this year this year's budget. Yeah, um, this year's budget is maybe 120 and final was then also 120 because between here and here, the only thing that we are going to do is actually just distribute it over a time period. Good. I hope you, I hope you understood what um, the different scenarios is. So we are just going to create those four scenarios. Great. So let's click on new. Um, let me say yeah, 100. Last year's, last year's actual. As you see, I already did it in the in, in my last in my last YouTube video as well. This way with the other budget, with the really with the <coughs> with the distribution and all the things. So yeah, this means last year's last year's budget. Also monetary 
then we have we said that we are this year budget 300 this year budget this year budget so this will be the scenario where the where the finance guy can adjust those two will just be viewed in the end and 400 final will be the final budget budget in the end distributed over periods monetary as well good so those are the scenarios now let's move on with the stages um, from the stages itself it is in this case quite simple so um, in the more complex one we had things like yeah, well created finance uh, finance initially created distributed then um, in department review department approved aggregated finance in review and then finance approved so just the different stages which the workflow in the end is going through uh, in this case it is quite simple actually so um, what does it mean it means nothing else and we have an initial phase with the initial phase finance um, will retrieve the last year's actual last year's budget will create the new budget in the end and we will have a second stage which is that is then called um finance approved yeah finance approved and then it is already final of course you would be able to add um, an additional stage where for example the cfo will approve it but i'm really keep it simple where it's just a one-man show and just one person is doing it therefore the only thing that we need is a 10 initial so initial budget stage and 20 finalized so budget finalized great now the workflows um, you need to connect all these kind of things um, to a workflow in the end so this means we need to go and create such a budgeting workflow um yeah i click on new and then it is budget plan workflows you can click on create workflow and you are in here good now okay um now let's let's add we need we need to add a third stage sorry for that does it submit uh, i would be i think it would be possible with two but i think we create a second one in review in review and then final finalized stage stage okay so we have in the end actually those three stages initial initial um, in review and final good now in the workflow in the workflow you have here so such automated tasks uh, which means in the end nothing nothing else then well the stage transition is just doing the step from here to here so for example the workflow starts and the first thing that we need to do is actually to say well okay change a stage so change the stage to us from initial to in review so this is nothing else than the stage transition budget plan so i just add it in here which means the system automatically changes the stage to in review good so when it is in review at some point finance needs to approve it so this means nothing else you can just do it this way good um yeah doing the doing yeah, okay i double click on it then you're on step one and then you need to do an assignment and the assignment so please approve please approve approve uh, in the assignment you can actually use here type participant role-based budget organization per, per the budget organization structure um, this means nothing else than ax is going to check on the department that we've created so um, in the sales budget in the department is going to check who is the manager of this department and this will be the person who is responsible so that's fine of course 
Uh, if you want to make it really simple, you can also use user and just say um, <coughs> which user it is in the end. Good. Well, okay, good. Um, that's fine. Back to the workflow. So <coughs> now we are so after it is approved. Uh, after it is approved, uh, we need to add. So we are in here in review phase and we are going to add actually in the review phase. So between the review phase and final phase, we are going to distribute the amounts over period from the budget in review to budget file. So you need to <coughs> think about the within in review, you will have just one transaction for each main account financial dimension combination per year in the final one, <coughs> because you're going to um, put the final one into the budget register entries. We want to, uh, we want to distribute it um, just over the months. Therefore, such automatisms um, needs to be added as well, and they are called budget planning stage allocation. So this means after the finance guy clicked on the um, approve button, AX should execute the distribution. You will see what this means right later on when we are going to add the distribution. Plus, since we are still in review stage, we also want to have a normal stage transition that the next stage will be, will be um, put automatically and then we are already done with this workflow. I just quickly say here, um, my sale or sales budget, sales budget workflow, close, save and close and okay. And I'm going to activate it. Great, so uh, let's move on. Uh, in here, in the workflows, um, we need to say here in the end, nothing else than um, budget planning workflow. We of course just have one, so sales budget. Let's call it ten. So sales budget workflow workflow ID is then to be. Workflow ID budget plan work. Yeah, it needs to be this one. Okay, I think I forgot to rename it. Good. Okay, so um, we need to add on all um, on the workflow the different stages. So we had the initial. We said we have in review and we have the final one. Good. So um, this is already it here with the workflows. Scenario constraints. In here you're just saying well which scenario should be possible to edit and which one not. So for example, last year's actual, last year's budget, those are, um, yeah, you don't want to change them. But of course, this year's budget should be changed and final should be changed with, it should be automatically changed as well. But of course, in the end, when it is final, it should not be changed anymore. Good. So I click here on new um, and I say, well, okay, within the initial phase, the scenario, last year's actual is just view because um, yeah you don't want to change it at all then again within stage initial last year's budget also just view because it doesn't make you're not going to change last year's budget good within the stage um, sales budget initial the Oh, I took the wrong one, actually. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so the this year budget is of course edit, and I actually put here this should be two hundred, and this should be one hundred. Good. Okay. So this means nothing else than within the initial stage where the finance guy is filling out the budget, um, the last year's actual and last year's budget is not possible to um, to change because you just retrieve the data from last year's uh, real figures. And this year's budget, of course, it should be editable. Okay. Um, next. The next stage would be in review. Within in review, we are doing we are adding exactly the same. This means we won't we won't be that 
the, the in, the in review phase is actually just um, a between phase where there maybe are, aren't any changes at all. So we're just going to add it. We're just going to add it once again, exactly the same. And I did it again wrong. Not two, but 200. And this year's. Okay. So this year's budget in both of those stages um, should be editable. Last year's actual and last year's budget not. And we are coming to the last stage, at the final. So within the final budget, so when it is finalized, of course. Mm, sorry. We do need to add here in the in review phase. Um, we need to add here as well the final budget. Because we how did we set up the workflow? Whoops. Oh, it's another one. Uh, it depends how we set up the workflow. So this means um, and I'm not anymore 100 percent sure. So let's quickly check it. So okay, we said budget plan stage transition. Yeah. So. Budget plan stage allocation and oh, I renamed the wrong thing here. So stage transition budget, and I wanted to actually rename this one here, sales budget. Okay, um, so um, after finance approves it, so we are still in the in review phase. Uh, the first thing is. Within the in review phase, uh, AX is doing the budget planning stage allocation. So he's going to execute the distribution in the in within within the in review phase. Uh, the stage transition, so nothing else than the switch between in review and final, uh, is then actually done after the distribution over time. You could switch it as well. Would maybe would maybe make sense, uh, but you can also leave it this way actually. So. Um, I just quickly save and close it and OK. And yeah, yeah, activate new version. Good. So, <clears throat> budget plan configuration and yeah. But this, this means, as I said, we need in the in review phase already the finance. And it should be editable because the system is going to edit manually. Uh, automa automatically in there, but it needs to be editable in this case. At the final stage, um, we want to view all the different scenarios, of course, but uh, nothing should be possible to change anymore. Therefore, we just add all the different scenarios in here with view. Good. So allocation schedules is exactly the one that we that I said the distribution over time. So I click here on the allocation schedule and I say um, sales sales budget allocation allocation across period would be correct. Uh, distribute aggregate is just if you do it the complex way. Period key you can click on view details. I have here already one monthly, which is just distributing it over time. It is quite simple. You can go over the wizard. You can say next, and I want to have per one month, 12 months fixed, next, um, no financial dimension. And then you can say, well, um, equal M equal equals over equal over months. Then next. And then this is fine. You see 8.33% in each month. Next, finish. And we have it. This means I'm going to use this one here. Good. And now we need to say which from which source scenario is it going to copy into the final one. So this destination scenario is definitely the final one because we want to have the, the, the final um, this distributed over period. And then, whoops course it is this one here and well of course from this year's budget so this is quite simple okay so we said what he's going to do is going to distribute he's going to 
distribute the this year's budget. So he's taking the this year's budget created from finance, puts it into the new scenario and distributes it there. So the source scenario doesn't change at all. It is just the destination scenario, which is um, then different. The stage allocation, you just need to say in here at what time is this one from before exec executed. So um, it is in the stage of in review because of the workflow. If I would to put the stage transition at first, um, then it would be final. But because I said at first he should, uh, he should um, execute those allocations, uh, I need to put the in review phase. Good, and then sales budget allocation. Priority, who cares? Okay, folder. Um, you need to have a folder and never ever use kind of C or whatever. Uh, this won't work. You need to have a folder where your um, AOS server have access to. So it needs to be um, a network, a network drive in the end. So yeah, ask someone who knows it who where the AOS have access to. I go for example in here. Let's say sales budget budget. Good, and I say in here, I'm going to add this folder. Good. Um, the templates. Um, you can create Excel templates, and this is also actually the big, the big advantage, the big advantage that you that you can that you can do actually um, that that well that you can put your budget figures uh, in in the budget register entries over um, Excel. You can use a wizard actually um, which helps you creating it or if it is not working by the way if you're go if you're using the if you're using the the wizard you need to put here the matrix field for worksheet template uh, where you just create where you just create um, the sums we are go but we are going to create the excel manually so this means nothing else than um, i just quickly create open a new excel and there we are going to add these matrix fields um, as well. It's in the in the wizard. It is actually just drag and put things from the right side to the left side, um, and then click on OK, and then it should work. And it is it is working actually as long as as long as um, <laughs> yeah it is working in the end <laughs> uh, because on, uh, on on one system I have it is not working some somehow. So at the customer system system um, I don't uh, I don't get in here. Therefore I created it manually and I'm also going to show you how to create it manually as soon as you know how to do it it is quite simple so first of all you need to have the AOS service uh, the server and the port if you don't know these kind of things you can normally go in system administration and then systems server configuration and here you have the AOS server normally or you can also go to an inbound port and just have a look at any kind of AIF thing and there you see here well okay it is this AOS server and it is this port important it is different between normally it is different between um, between between the test system and the productive system. So if you test something, you always need to check that you are in the correct system because we are going to publish data back. Yeah, good. We can connect and we can choose here the account structure, which is um, contribution margin in this case and click on OK. After that, click on add data. And you should have here the budget plans um, service available. So this means if not, if you don't, if you don't see those things, well, first of all, check in the um, organization administration, in the organization administration document data source that you've activated here, um, this service. So just create a new line, add here budget, here service, add this um, class in here, this service in here, activate it, and then it should be available. If you don't have, uh, if you don't find this service, then you need to actually check quickly in the system administration, in the inbound ports, if the budget services are activated. If it has a red X, then click on activate. If they are not even in here, then you need to go into the AOT and in the AOT to the service groups. And in here, you should have the budget service, right click and then deploy service group. And after that, they should be available and you can add it in the in the organization administration 
document data source. So yeah, I also showed it in the other in the other video. Good. So um, yeah, to create such a template, you need to create you need to have three sheets. Call the second sheet backing sheet, and this is data. Good. In the backing sheet, what you have to do is click on B5. I think it also working on B3 or wherever, and just double click on. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to be sure that it is working, just double click on every of the available fields. Then you can be sure that it is working. Um, it is also so normally you would actually just need to have those with um, the red star plus those which have um, such a key plus the field amount plus the field quantity. But uh, since I since I had some troubles with creating the creating this uh, template uh, last time, I'm directly going to add just all these fields in here. Um, with the ledger dimension here, you don't need to add all. In the ledger dimension, you just need to add those which you are using. So I'm using the main account. I'm using the main account description, and I'm using the the purpose and the purpose description as a PUR. Then line number here. Then again, just all of them, just really to be ensure. Good. So to be sure. So here, just double click. Good. So this is the backing sheet. You can you actually don't need it at all, which means nothing else. Then you can click on hide, and now you can go to data. Good. Um, <clears throat> Now you can add logos, whatever, whatever you want. Let's quickly add one. Got it. It's working. It's doing something. I don't know what, but yeah. Good. And after a while it opened and you can add here um, any kind of logo you want. So your company logo or whatever. Um, yeah. <clears throat> In the end, um, this is the file that the other people will see or the, uh, the finance guy will see, which, are, which is filling out this thing. Uh, therefore, maybe we can say we don't want to have the grid lines. Then we can, then it's a normal Excel. So we can say here sales budget. <clears throat> and make it bold and fat. Now, <clears throat> if you want to have kind of information from the header, so for example, if you want to see the budget plan, um, in such a case, you can add here budget plan, for example, budget plan. And then uh, yeah, to reference to the header, you just need to add here equal to budget, budget plan header dot and then if you go over this one here okay let me take it out um, if you just go over that this one then you see here budget plan header dot name so you can just insert this budget plan header dot name maybe also the document number And the document number is budget plan header dot document number. So dot document number. Good. Make this one as well. Maybe bold. Good. Um, it is this way that there is um, hashtag name, um, but it will be retrieved as soon as it is used. So um, don't worry about that. Good. Um, you can now actually add the lines that you want to have. So this means nothing. This means nothing else than uh, well, what do we want to see? Well, we want to see the main accounts, of course, in here. So this means nothing else than we add here main account, main account description. Um, you see, he um, AX automatically added some things, but we'll see what this means right afterwards. And then purpose, purpose description. Plus, you want to see actually um, those numbers here. So in the end, just the uh, last year's actual, last year's budget, and this year's budget. Actually, 
to do it just those three at the beginning the final one we are going to add it um, just in a second template then so this means let's add those metrics fields so you need to go to the botch plan lines right click create metrics field and then you can say last year's actual it is amount it is read only and then add condition and we are just going to put it based on the botch plan scenario don't use the botch the description always the botch plan scenario is and then enter a value and it is connected to ax therefore i have these things available so 100 last year's actual okay um, I add a second one, last year's budget, read only, um, budget plan lines, budget plan scenarios is, and then in here 200 last year's budget. Then we are going to add this year's budget, not read only of course. Again, exactly the same. Good. We're just using those three. Good. So this means nothing else. And you can say, well, you want to see it first last year's actual, last year's budget, and this year's budget. Now you can actually move on and say, well, okay, I'm going to rename it main account. Yep. Okay. So um, important is the valid field here. This is mandatory you need to leave it in here even if it is blank um, all the others like botch plan scenario you maybe don't want to have it so you can say delete line number uh, also delete document number also delete we really just want to have the main account main account name um, purpose purpose name and then last year's actual last year's budget and this year's budget so since it is an excel you can actually uh, do whatever you want you can add kind of charts in here you can create um, a third table which is kind of called let's say analysis where you create your pivot tables based on that table and so on good okay so this means you can take out the fields here and you could click on refresh i don't do it because um, there are quite a lot of data available because it is um, a shared table and will take it from all the different mandates but if something appears here then it is normally already already fine good now you need to save it uh, as well to the folder to, uh, so first first of all to a folder where the AOS have um, have access to and it makes sense to add it or you have to add it to a folder which you actually have also added in the budget planning configuration so in one of those folders here so sales budget for example so I save it there and I say well um, template or work template work template template you can save it good you can add different kind of templates actually based on the stages um, so the second template I'm just going to do it over the wizard that you see it as well how this would work so um, this the last we create one which is just for working for the finance where we create the, the budget the last one is the one just to have a look at when it is finalized so this means nothing else than first of all you need to add here the metrics field for worksheet template it's actually nothing else than we did before so as so in the x in the excel so this means this year's this year's um or last last year's actual uh template so last year's actual from template last year's actuals yeah, yeah. Amount also read only. I don't know why AX is adding here those conditions automatically. And then it is exactly the same as we already did before. So is value and then in here the 100. Um, then a new one. Last year's budget template. Last year's budget. Also read only. 
take out those conditions, add a new one. Budget plan scenario is 200. New. Um, this year's budget template, this year's budget, then not read only. Now maybe it makes them. It doesn't that matter because we make the constraints. We made the constraints anyway. Good and this year's budget and this year's final. This year's final and again budget plan scenario is. Final. Good. Now you can actually go in the budget plan configuration and under the templates we can go over the wizard that we saw both possibilities. Template name, let's say um, the template name is um, template or wizard sales budget. The folder itself <coughs> again. Just, you can just choose one of those that you've added before. Legal entity is fine. Account structure uh, is the CM. Good. And then next. And now you can just say in here, well, what kind of things you want to see. <clears throat> so it's now actually just a drag and drop or double click from right side to left side. The same for the lines. So what do we want to see? We want to see main account, main account description. We want to see the purpose, which is actually not available. <clears throat> okay, if financial dimension in here is not available, click on console. And then you need to go to general ledger and then um, Financial set of financial dimension, financial dimension configuration for integration application, and then you need to add it from the right side to the to left from the left side to the right side, and then do it again over the wizard. Wizard sales budget plan folder is this one, uh, CM responsibility center document number. Create the date time. <clears throat> and it is still not available. Okay, I just needed to add, um, I, just, I just needed to um, restart AX. It was actually because I adjusted the, the account structure. Um, now I have the ICTP and also the purpose available. <coughs> Good. So this means main account, main account description, and purpose and purpose description. You don't see um, any amount fields in here. It's actually just really just the, the dimensions that you're going to choose and <coughs> Then in here you have the metrics fields, so the amounts available that we've created. So we want to see last year's actual, last year's budget, um, this year's budget, and this year's final um, in here. So we can say next. We can click on preview in Excel. This may take a bit. Good. And AX actually created um, now this wizard. Uh, over the wizard, it created now this template, which is actually in the end, uh, it looks more or less the same as we've created it manually before. Of course, you can now also add, do things like, well, okay, I want to uh, want to put it out in the end, or I want to um, add kind of kind of um, <clears throat> a logo and so on. Uh, AX also created actually here the backing sheet that we've created as well. So in the end, um, it is really yeah the manual way is exactly the same as it's doing over the wizard. Um, don't save because now when you click on finish, now AX is going to create the template wizard sales template here 
under this folder. So this means if you want to make any adjustments, don't do it in the preview. Um, click at first on finish until AX created the file and then you can open the file under this folder and do your uh, wished adjustments. Also the finishing takes a little bit because AX is now um, putting all these things together. Good, and now AX created it and saved it in the folder, so wizard sales template, uh, and now you can do all the adjustments you want to have. So basically the same as before, main account name, poor name, and so on. Just save it then right now. Good. Okay, so we have the two templates and the last step that we now need to do is actually a budget planning process. A budget planning process is just, for example, if you have different kind of budgets, so a sales budget, a project budget, a cost budget, um, then for each of those budgets you can create such um, a process. Of course, if you just have one budget process where you just do the whole budget, sales and as well costs, then you can, of course, do it just in one um, process. So, yeah. Good, so in here I click on new, I say um, um, sales 2016, so sales budget 2016, budget cycle of course 2016. Uh, next year you can just copy it and then put 17. The ledger also quite simple, GLSI because it's the mandate. Um, the attachment folder, so you can say well okay where should uh, on which place should the um, should the final budget be saved? Um, but also in here, you just have those folders available which are in here. So I just quickly go and add a new folder in here. So to say, well, I actually want don't I want to have it in the sales budget, but in the sales budget I'm going to add a new folder which is final. And I want to save it in here. Good. And after you did that in the process, we should see it here as well available. Good. So budget plan administration. You need to choose the hierarchy that we've created. So sales budget hierarchy in this case. And we just have the sales budget department. And in this case, of course, also just one workflow. Um, sales budget workflow. Great. So now you can choose for each of the um, stages that we've created the template. So um, the, on the first two, it will be the, the one, the template we've created where we won't see the this year's final. In the final stage, it will be um, the thing that we see all, yeah, basically the one we did from the wizard. So, oh, okay, of course. Sorry, I forgot to add in the template, the one that we've created manually. I need to add it, of course, in here, um, in sales budget and then the work template. Otherwise it won't appear there. Good, and now I can choose here. At least I hope I can choose it. Yeah, perfect. Good. So this means um, the worksheet, um, I think this one, yeah, work template. In here as well, in review, still possible to add lines and to modify lines. So, no, this one. And in the end, when it's final, nothing should be possible to add or modify it. And we are using at that stage the wizard from the sales template. Priorities, doesn't matter at all. So this means you just need to click on activate right now and it is activated perfect so now we can already go through the process so this means nothing else than as we said um, finance creates a new budget plan or a new budget um, he retrieves the last year's actuals and the last year's budget unfortunately i don't have last year's budget in it therefore i can't retrieve it but we are just going to take last year's actual and then the budget was last year's actual times 1.25 good so First of all, to add something or to create a plan with one scenario, you need to click here on Generate Budget from General Ledger and then create a new budget plan. By fiscal year is fine. Um, period what 
we are taking the last years, so we are taking from 2015, uh, period 1 to period 12, not just the ex not the expense, but it's a sales budget, therefore we are going to take the revenue. Important is that you're setting up your main accounts in this way, so that your main account does have the main account type revenue and expense, not profit and loss, because if you would take profit and loss all the PL accounts would um, appear which is of course fine if you just have one budget for all and not just for sales but in this case um, yeah it makes sense to have it this way historical no definitely no otherwise um, actually I saw first of all that um, it, it it is directly accepted and it is going to, to um, not to summarize it so yeah so budget plan you can call it sales um, budget um, scenario, um, in which scenarios you would want to uh, put it. So we are going to take the last year's actual. So it is in, sorry, budget plan process, of course, sales 2016. Good. Um, Yeah, okay, good. So, um, yeah, you need to choose here the budget planning process, then the responsibility center. If this one, if nothing appears in here, um, then you have an error with the organization hierarchy. So you either don't add the position that I showed in the beginning, or uh, you didn't add the department, or your person, so it's your system user is not connected to the work. So um, I showed it either in this video in the beginning, so to have a look there, or in my other videos um, about the real budget planning, so the more complex one, there it is shown as well. Good. Um, since I'm going to take the last year's actual, I need to choose here last year's actual budget class, in this case revenue. I can add a factor, in this case, since I want to have the actuals, I don't use a factor. And then click on generate. <clears throat> Good. Now this means nothing else than AX created now the budget plan. And at the moment, if I have a look at the all budget plans, here the sales budget uh, in the last year's actual, he retrieved these things, but I don't have yet the last year's budget and this year's budget uh, well as well as well not. Therefore, um, I need to go and add the last year's budget into the already existing budget plan. I know normally, normally I would go over um, budget plan from budget plan and I would take the last year's budget plan. So it's actually the same as in here, but just over the budget. Uh, since I don't have it, I'm going to add it also from the actuals times 1.25. Okay, this time not create new budget plan, but replace the existing budget plan scenario. Um, again, the same thing. Historical, no, budget planning process, sales 2016, yes. And now we can say which document number, so the sales budget that we've created, and the budget plan scenario, we are going to copy it oops, into last year's budget. And we can say times 1.25, and then click on generate. Good. Now, <clears throat> AX added the second scenario. So I already have the possibility in here to see, well, okay, this is this amount in last year's budget and last year's actual, it's this amount. Before we start working, we also need to add the figures in here. So in this year's budget, just kind of a proposal in the end. So for example, I just going to take the last year's actual, also replace the existing budget plan scenario. Um, I'm going to put it in here. So this year's budget, Historical, no, this, oops, this year's budget. And I say, well, okay, um, the last year's, the last year's actuals times 1.5 is, should be the proposal which the finance guy can adjust, just of course, in the end for this scenario. Good, I click on okay. Perfect. Now, um, I have the possibility now, so the budget plan is now created with the three different scenarios. So, um, so last year's actual, last year's budget and this year's budget. This means I can actually go in here, budget plans for my organization, and then there are 
normally not that many. But I see here, well, okay, there is something uh, that needs to be done from um, a workflow. And the sales guy in the end, what can he do? Well, he can double click on it um, and then start budgeting just by clicking here on the worksheet. So this means by clicking on the worksheet, AX is going to open the created template that we that we did. And of course, he just he actually just filtered it by the thing that we did. So basically, basically by the setup that we did. So the budget plan is called sales budget. Document number is a document number. And of course, we just see in here just the figures from this budget plan. Nothing from others and so on. Good. So this means now I have here the comparison last year's actual last year's budget, this year's budget. As you can see, read only, so I cannot do anything in here here as well, but I can amend this year's budget. So for example, I can say, well, I want to have here 20,000. I want to have here 50 and I want to have here 8,000. So you're basically free what you want to do. As soon as you finished with this column, um, what you need to do is just click on data and uh, no, on Dynamics AX and then on publish. And AX is now going to put this information back into AX or did it already. So this means um, records published. Yep, that's fine. By the way, so if I make a change. And if I would stand somewhere here and click publish, then you. No, I don't end up in an error this time. Sometimes, sometimes I receive the message. It, um, uh, failed um, because I don't have access to the organization hierarchy. In such a case, just ensure that you activated any kind of field in this pivot table in the end. Yeah, good. So I've published this thing, which means I can save it, this worksheet, because this worksheet is, is now actually saved. So in the sales budget with the templates, final, and then I see, well, okay, this budget plan, the worksheet, so the name and within the initial phase, it was done like this in the end. Perfect. So um, what does it mean? AX actually now adjusted adjusted these figures um, as well in this way as we saw in here. Yep. Okay, yeah, okay, of course. He had two lines with the same financial dimension, of course. So he summarized it here in the Excel, of course, just together. So um, if you have two times the same main account and the same financial dimension, because it was the split between um, I, um, intercompany and third party before, he summarized it, of course, because we are maybe not interested in uh, this financial dimension. He's going to split it then just normally based just normally based on the amount that he had before. So the posted amount. So if I had here 50, then he just um, split it by the amount of the postings uh, in here also this way. Good. Now, at the moment, as you can see, we just have those three scenarios, but I need to submit it now to the um, workflow. So this means um, it, you can actually also do it this way that um, this is done by finance and the CFO needs to approve it. So this means in the workflow itself, because next the workflow would start. So this means next, if I just quickly show it to you where we are now. So as soon as the guy clicks on submit, he's going to make a stage transition, which means he's going to in review finance and then someone needs to approve it. At the moment, it is me because I am the header of this thing, but it can also be, for example, the CFO or what, whoever. Good. So this means let's click on submit and that's okay. Good. And if I go now to this budget plan or I go to all budget plans that we see, that we see it in here. So it is in review, still initial. So this means nothing else and it is still at the workflow. Uh, by the way, if nothing happens, so this means if you click here on view history and at the moment it is pending actually. 
So if he's doing nothing, so here you see it is doing something, then you need to check actually if the workflow is running. So in the end, just the workflow, the workflow batch jobs that they are activated. Uh, <clears throat> if you don't know about how to about how to um, add those, I actually I actually created on my channel. You should find um, a video um, here in the purchase requisition, uh, employee self service, and also travel and expense. There, I showed it how to um, create the how to create the workflow batch jobs, just in case that it would not, just in case that it would not work. So there you should, there you should find it. Good. Let's see on which stage we are. <clears throat> Hopefully it is now already done, all budget plans. And yeah, perfect. So it is now in review. So this means uh, the workflow did the next stage. So this means we are now here where finance or in this case me again or you depending on whoever you assigned it to at the moment it is role based so the budget organization participant which is the, the guy the main guy from the department um, <clears throat> needs to approve it so here as well he just sees well okay this this in here so this means nothing else then he can maybe say he is, still, he is still able to say, well, okay, uh, in the worksheet, I open it again. <clears throat> um, save. And I think, <clears throat> so open the worksheet again. Just quickly close. Ah, yeah, now he starts to open it. One second, let's go quickly back and in here, let's open it in here. Uh, just quickly, AX somehow created something, but which was kind of strange. One sec. Okay, I actually also don't know what happened. Uh, somehow, somehow it seemed that, as I actually what I did is just I took out the initial worksheet from the final folder and then it actually worked perfectly. So this means um, I can just quickly delete it again. And if I open it now, then it is perfectly working. Uh, maybe he had some maybe he had some problems when I had this worksheet back in here. Let's quickly try it once again. So um, I delete this one here and what if I open it right now? Yeah then he has problems. Okay, honestly, no, this should not be the case. So this means um, maybe an error, maybe something I did wrong. But for the moment, I just take it out in here, delete this worksheet again. And now I click on open worksheet. Otherwise, maybe not a template or maybe not a folder, but anyhow. So, okay, good. This means now, of course, the, the CFO or who, whoever is approving it, um, is still able to change the amount. So this means um, here, for example, I said, okay, no, it should not be five, it should not be 50, it should be 50,000. And then he can do it again the same way. So he can just say, well, publish. 
always check if it is published. And yes, it is published. And as soon as, I, as soon as I click F5, the amounts should be adjusted. Yeah, perfect. So um, it means nothing else than I can now approve it. So I click on approve, say that that's okay. Uh, click on approve. And now it is again in the workflow. So <clears throat> this means in the workflow itself, um, what is he doing? I closed it. Okay. What is he doing in the workflow at the moment? So first of all, um, so maybe if I just quickly. So at the moment you just, you don't have, um, you have it now because the workflow is already through. Before you just had two uh, three scenarios, so just the uh, LJA and the LJB and the TGB. TJB. Um, with submitting to the workflow, AX did actually the following, so means nothing else than after after the guy said, okay, he did the budget staging um, transition, so this means nothing else than he copied, he copied the budget plan scenario this year's budget into 400 final budget, but just split by each period. So it just makes it made a normal made a normal split based on the thing that we that we said in the in the end. Yeah. Good. This is the first thing. Second thing, then of course a stage transition, which means um, that this budget plan in the end is now in the stage Final, if I click F5, which means actually you cannot adjust anything anymore. And as well, since we are now in the final, in the final stage, the new template will be taken. So, for example, in the in review phase, we just saw those three columns. If I open now the worksheet or this worksheet, then I should get the new template which we've created over the wizard. Yeah. So the one from the wizard and we see here then also the final budget. So this is actually it. So this means we've created, we finalized the budget. So we're not 100% yet through, but we finalized the budget planning. And the last step is then quite simple. So we have now a budget plan, or just maybe to show you next time when you want to, and when you really want to add the last year's budget, then you just need to click here, budget plan from budget plan. And then existing scenario, and then you can say in sales, and then you can say uh, it's finalized, so maybe it's not possible anymore, as it won't be possible, of course. But you just need to choose then, well, okay, I want to retrieve the sales budget from last year and the budget plan and the budget plan scenario, which is done. Uh, the problem is, of course, that I cannot put it to the same. Uh, here, historical, yes. Uh, yeah, of course, I would need I would need to create at first um, a new one. I just quickly do it. So I say, well, uh, create a new budget plan for next year. So this means at first historical, no. Um, sales budget 2017, budget plan scenario, the last year's actual. And I click on generate. Good. And then to add the budget, you can click budget from budget plan, sales, replace existing budget scenario, document number. You want to use the source from last year's budget, the budget plan final, of course. So either final or um, final or this year's spot, no final would make sense, definitely. Historical, from my point of view, no. And you want to put it to the sales budget, to the new one, and into the budget plan scenario last year's budget, and without any factor. And then you can click on generate. And then in the new budget plan, you will have, so into 2017, you will have last year's actual and last year's budget, of course, back again summarized by date so this is done automatically the summer the summarization good 
Now we've created, uh, we've finished with the budget plan. The last step is that we need to put it to the budget register entry. So just that we have it then also available in the general ledger for comparison between um, between um, the main accounts or the actuals and the budget. So this means in here, we just say sales. Here, the responsibility center document number so which one you want to take so the sales budget 2016 which scenario you want to um, put to the budgeting module well the final one of course and which into which budget module default date doesn't matter matter and into which budget code so this means you can also do kind of a revised budget and put it then to the revised budget code that you have the comparison so maybe after half a year but in the end it's that simple that you just need to click so aggregate lines maybe not because we already made the distribution and now the budget register entry was done so if i go here to all budget register entries i see here in the draft mode <coughs> that ax retrieved the whole budget planning and put it in here and the last thing you need to do is just click here on update and now your sales budget is actually posted so this means um, yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to show too many things about how to handle how to handle uh, the budget, the budget things. But for example, you can use it, of course, in the in the management reporter. I can't open it at the moment because um, I didn't activate the service. Or for the for the old fashioned for the old fashioned way, you would also be able to add it to a financial statement, which is not even which is not even activated in here. But yeah, you have now actually the the whole uh, budget figures um, available. Yeah, for ex for example, let's just quickly print here actual versus budget. Of course, we don't have and then financial dimension set. I can say, let's say, I just want to see it by main account without thing and the budget model sales posting layer current from date first of January. I don't have any actuals, of course. So therefore, we just have the budget register entries, but but yeah. So as you can see, you have that you have it then in the end really available uh, in the management reporter, in um, in the financial statements, and in the whole system where you can actually then compare based on main account level, on financial dimension level, actually on every level you want to have it. So actual expenditures, of course, zero because I haven't any postings, sales, and therefore percentage of bot and, uh, budget and so on. Good. <clears throat> uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. So this is this is it. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to add add a comment in there. And I hope actually that I could help you a bit with your budgeting. Good. So I wish you a nice day and all the best. <laughs> Bye.